Hi. What if I told you that life will be so much better in 2021? Or what if I told you, Alison, that you don't have to worry in 2021? Things will be so much easier. I know you would be lying because that's not the truth. <laughs> or what if I told you that I have a few hacks or a few life tips that would improve your life and make things better in 2021? I actually like that because I believe with hard work and some amount of determination, a lot can change. Hmm, okay. Stick around. I think you'll learn a lot. Yes, we'll be spilling some tea today. Well, oh, coffee. Sorry. Coffee. <laughs>
how has life been for you? Because for me, the first step in going anywhere or moving forward is honesty. Yeah. So you have to be honest with yourself. Also, yeah. you have to know what is holding you back from, you know, stepping out or from starting that business or yeah. jumping on that idea or, you know, starting your careers. Everything that's holding you back from accomplishing and doing what you're, you know, being destined to do or what you're ordained to do starts with you being honest with where you're at and where you want to see yourself going. Do I like you? <laughs> now that we've gotten honesty out of the way, you know, we can finally be real with each other, you know, we can, you know, get down to the nitty gritty and for me, the next step is to make a plan. Which brings us to hack number two, make a plan. You have to set a goal, you have to set goals, mind you, for your year make a plan and making a plan is not just you putting it in your head okay all right <laughs> i want to travel this year i'm going to go down and you know register my business i'm going to look at cars online to see which car i want to buy no that is not all about making a plan you have to write it down a plan helps you to navigate so you're able to see clearly you know what it is you need to do and it also shows you your areas of weakness. So when you oh. have it written out big, when it's, you know, for me, my vision board, I do it graphically, then I print it out and I stick it on my wall, I stick it in my bathroom. So I'm seeing it three different places and I look at it. 2020 was a hard year for me to look at my vision board <laughs> because I didn't really do much of the stuff on it. But you're able to navigate when you can see it, you can see, you know, what it is I need to do you know, to pivot me or to push me where I need to be. And also, when you have it written out, you see your areas of weakness. You'll see, okay, I can't just say I want to open a business. You'll realize that, okay, I need to identify some steps. I need to work on this. Or you, you can't just say, oh, I want my plan for the year is to get a routine. I just put routine <laughs> in your sticky notepad and that is it. What, how are you going about getting this routine? Yeah. So making a plan, to me, it, when you do it big, when you write it out, when you be creative in how you do it, it not only speaks to you, but it holds you accountable to yourself. Ah, I know, get it. Yeah, so it's good to plan ahead. Plans, you know, or life will change, but it's always good to have the plan. Even if life change, when you make the plan, when you have the vision out, you're catering for alterations, you're catering for, you know, things like 2020 to happen. Number three, I hate to break it to you, um, this this might hurt a lot of people, but you're not an island. Oh. <laughs> a lot of people- You are not an island. Hack number three, if you're not an island, no, say it again. Hack number three, you are not, not an island. island. Mm -hmm. It's not oh, you no. alone. <laughs> you know, in this world, this is not Gilligan's. <laughs> you need people, you need for me, you need a squad, you need somebody or persons that are going to help you navigate yes. through this life. So you cannot do it all alone. I know sometimes you feel like, you know, this is the only way we can get things done is if I do it <laughs> independently. independently or if you're a perfectionist like me, you, even if people are helping you, you still go back and try to fix it. <laughs> But you are not an island. You need people. Yeah. Here's why you need people. Because people will bring a perspective to what you're doing that you might not be seeing. Mm. And also, they will be a good motivation or, or an encourager, you know, when you're doing things or when you're motivate when you're, you know, maneuvering through life. So don't try to do it alone. Don't feel like you're all alone, yeah. you know, in this. I think something that came out of last year is the fact of having a support system like with so many things going on knowing that you have somebody that will check in on you that yeah. will call you you know somebody that you can hang with even though we're not allowed to go outside as much anymore is important so stop trying to do it all by yourself yeah and also you need people also to keep you accountable. You need accountability partner. It is very important to have a support team and accountability partner or just somebody in your life. You can't just chop this life alone, man. So I hope you're following so far, which brings us to hack number four. Hack number four, it kind of ties in with number three. Yeah. As much as um, 
you need people. You also need someone to vent to. There's nothing wrong with therapy. I hate to break into, you know, folks in Guyana that think that therapy are only for people that are going through bad things. <laughs> for me, something that helped me, that saved me uh, over the number of years is getting me a partner or getting me someone that I, I not only can hold accountable, but I can vent to. Mm. It's like fulfilling in a sense, you know, if you're struggling with something or if you're having a difficulty passing a course or doing a subject, subject and you can just call this one person and be like, you know what happened today? Number five, celebrate your wins. Yes. Yes. I hate to break it to you, but sometimes we are our biggest critic. Oof. We are the ones that will look back at something we do and be like, but I didn't do this, but Pick I didn't me. say this, me. or I should have, you know, stood a better way, or, you know, we're never okay with where we're at. It's like <laughs> hard for us to be like, good job, Allison. Like, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> yeah celebrate your wins the only way that you're going to be able to win more or you know for me growing your faith is when you're okay with what you you would have accomplished so far I'm not saying you know be okay to the point where you're comfortable but you must be able to celebrate it so for those of you that think having a diploma is nothing or graduating high school is not that much or you know having your first job or you, you might have started your business and you only have a few clients still starting learn. a YouTube channel starting a channel <laughs> you know and you're looking to grow you have to learn to celebrate yourself celebrate yeah. you know the victories that you have celebrate the accomplishments that you would have made it's it's very key trust me it will help you to I'm not saying for you to not be humble in in you know what you're doing but at the same time sometimes we need to encourage ourselves so that we're able to progress in celebrating your wins um it brings me to my favorite life hack like this this is me this number is me. six and i see david is trying to give me a run for my money don't neglect yourself oh yeah you gotta give yourself Ever. some self-care some me time in all the hustle and the bustle, in all that you're doing, don't le neglect you. Not neglecting me means I use scented candles at night. It helps me study, it helps me, you know, be calm, it helps me to relax. Shout out to others. Yeah, they have amazing <laughs> candles. I'm not like David, I don't do that whole, you know, skin routine, but I do things. Skin gear helps. <laughs> Having a skin routine Whatever. helps me so much. I have a glow and my glow is Jesus. <laughs> Holy Spirit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you can't neglect yourself. So for me, my self-care routine involves scented candles. It involves a little wine every now and again. It mm. involves treating me. And finally, for me, um, this is something that I think I learned the hard way as well. Do not compare yourself. Ooh to anyone or anything you're exactly where you need to be right now unfortunately comparison is a killer comparison kills the the truth of the matter is everyone moves at a different pace mm. so you're moving at a different pace it doesn't matter if you had the same opportunity so you cannot compare yourself to where somebody else is and feel that you have not accomplished or you're not doing what you're supposed to do I'm not saying now on the other end of you know comparison killing you also need to look at people and be driven mm. there's something I learned um, in terms of investing in yourself investing in yourself doesn't necessarily mean just you know spending money on things it also means sometimes you might go into a room or you might see uh, someone on Instagram and they're doing exactly what you want to do and just looking at it and you're like okay i can see where i can be now so on the other end of comparison there's being motivated or, or driven by you know people around you or things so don't be afraid you know i'm not saying don't look at what you're doing <laughs> and be encouraged but don't allow what you see to fit to make you feel that you need to do exactly what they're doing or a photocopy let it drive you to do what you are supposed to do, what you're destined to do. So we don't want photocopies. No photocopies. Be you. 
do it your way ask for help but don't compare and don't try to be like something so there you have it the hacks or things that you can do to make your life a little bit better and so i just want to say thank you so much if you made it this far to the video yeah we thank you so lot. much for watching remember to like comment subscribe and share and if you're new here again i am david adam where my channel promotes a healthy body healthy mind mind for 2021 and a healthy smile and remember to stay happy stay healthy brush twice a day and floss daily I also want to ask you, Floss. Listen, we're not here to talk. I also want to let you know, when last did you floss? Last week. <laughs> last week. I had a date, so I had to ensure that <laughs> was well. Please floss daily, guys. Floss daily. And, guys, comment below what are some of the life hacks that you would use, or what are some tips that you would advise persons, or that would help would have helped you in years past yeah i'd love to see it in the comments yes and comment below to allison please floss <laughs> so without further ado thank you so much guys for watching again thanks for having me david you thanks are so welcome so bye guys bye. stay safe wear your mask